Hey everyone, Joe here. With all the talk about 5D Mark IV and C-Log being introduced, I thought it was time I made a video on how everybody else can kind of increase their video quality and maybe even dynamic range on their other DSLRs. Now, currently C-Log has only been introduced to the 5D Mark IV. So other cameras like the nice little ADD here probably will never see C-Log. That's pretty much a given. But don't despair, there are ways to improve the dynamic range and overall picture quality in these cameras as well. So I'm going to get in here and show you just how to do that. Okay everyone, so I mentioned we can improve the video on cameras like the Canon 80D. Now how can we do this if we don't uh, have the ability to put C-Log into it? Well, there are other options. Now, these other options are not as good as C-Log, but for the average person, they may just be just what you're looking for. Now, we all know the flat picture profile, the neutral picture profile, I want the Canon 80D and other these DSLRs, still has a lot of contrast to it. Even if you lower the contrast all the way down, it still, it's just too much. Let's just be quite honest with you. Well, there's other options out there. Now, a couple of these other options, and one free one that I'm going to be showing you today is CineStyle from Technicolor. Now, we can download that from Technicolor, and I'll show you how to install this using the Canon EOS utility. There are other options, too. Now, you have one called Vision Color, which is very similar to CineStyle, and another one called EOS HD. Now, it is also very similar to these other two I just mentioned, but they're all just a little bit different than each other. Now, vision uh, color, vision color is what it's called, and H uh, EIS HD do cost money. Now, I think one of them is around $10, and EIS HD is probably around $20. Prices do vary on those, but the one from Technicolor is completely free. Now, the only catch to the one from Technicolor is that they're not really not supporting it or keeping it updated anymore. So, if you look at any kind of LUTs or anything might be used in Premiere Pro, then... Those are not going to be as updated for you. However, if you don't mind doing the color grading yourself, it may just be just what you're looking for. And this is what I use. So what I want to do is I'm going to hop over here to the computer here in just a moment, and we're going to hook this up. And you got to have a little USB cable. Now, ADD, when I bought mine, didn't come with one of these, but I've had like a dozen of these from other cameras. So you will need one of these to plug your camera up to the USB of your uh, on your computer. So we can use the EOS utility to update, or not update, but upload the uh, center style picture profile into the camera. Okay, everyone. Well, up here on the computer screen, I have a few examples for you, just in case you might be a little confused. Now, the one over here to this left of the screen here, currently where my mouse cursor is, is center style. Now, over here to my right, it is the neutral you know, picture profile in your Canon camera. Now, if you look at these, I kind of expose both of them for the sky. So, if you look around this little bush area on one, and over here to the other, you'll notice that the neutral picture profile, even though I have the contrast lowered all the way down, we still have lost data over here in these dark shadows. And that's information we cannot ever pull back out. And if we do manage to pull some out, then it's going to be very noisy. However, if you look over here in the center style picture profile, we can still see everything under the bush. Now, so I'll pull that out and let you see the center style here. You can see, we can see under those bushes and stuff around my flower garden very well. So you can see down in the shadows as well as up into the skies. And that's really what you want. Now, if we go over here and I'll take another look here at the flat picture profile, we can see we've lost data. Anything that's went completely black is data that is lost. And we see a lot of that throughout this image of areas that's just lost data. Now, if you're going for this look in final, then that may be perfectly fine for you. But for those who really want to create a much more dramatic looking image, more cinematic looking, you know, that's really not too great. So here's an example of one of just really simple color grading after using CineStyle. So I can see I still have information down in the shadows while still 
and information up in the skies, and so I haven't lost any information, but I've sharpened the image, uh, added a lot more color, and made it look very lively, very, you know, something you used to see on TV, instead of, you know, something like you'd record on your DSLR and lose so much data. Now, in addition to that one, I have another one sitting right here that I've kind of did my own little S-curve updating to, and it looks kind of like a very almost cinematic look to it. And this is kind of the way I like to do a lot of my videos, much like this right here. That way everything's really soft in the shadows and it still get put in detail in the skies. So this is like really nice. And this is done real easy just by installing, you know, center style and doing this a little simple color grading. So that said, and I've showed you what it can do. Let me show you how to install it. Okay, everyone. The first thing we need to do is download uh, CineStyle from Technicolor. Now, to get to this, it's very easy. You can just Google Technicolor space CineStyle or check down the description below. I'll put a link down, the, down there as well. Now, once you go to that, you can e easily go to their page. Like I said, you can Google for it. And over here, you got a little link that says Download. Now, when you click on that, it will ask you to fill out some you know, personal information, last name, you know, first name, email address, any kind of company. And basically, you, just, you don't even have to subscribe. Just kind of put this kind of thing to, so they get an idea of who's downloaded. Nothing really serious. But anyway, you can download it right quick. It'll uh, download to your computer. And once you get it downloaded, it'll probably be in a zip file. And you can unzip it, and in this uh, zip file here, you'll find a little under zip file for your center style LUT, which is really not supported anymore. And uh, I think they even made the last time they updated was like 2013. But down here, you also says your uh, Technicolor center style, the PF2 file. That is actually the file that we will be using. That is your uh, picture profile file. Okay, let me close that folder out. Now, if you haven't already, Turn on your camera and plug up your USB cable, you know, same way you would if you're just tethering or doing any kind of remote shooting. Now, make sure you are in like a, one of the manual modes and also make sure that you are in photo mode and not video mode. That's really important because a lot of your options on your uh, camera settings here on your US utility won't, you know, be active until you're in photo mode. Okay. And once you get it set up, uh, it's pretty much easy to just open your EOS utility. Now, if you're using, a, I'm using EOS utility version three here, but if you're using an older camera like the T3i that I also film my videos with, which is the 600D, uh, it's only supported up to EOS utility version two. Now, I'm using the 80D here, and it obviously is supported up to EOS utility version three, but I'm really not sure which cameras use three and which ones use two. Uh, which where it actually changed that. So if normally when you get these, you can download both. If one doesn't work, the other will. So I wouldn't be too worried. So when you get that done, uh, go ahead and click on camera settings. Now, like I said, a lot of these uh, options will be grayed out if you're not in picture uh, mode. Again, you need to be in picture mode and need to have it like in manual mode. You know, either manual, either aperture or uh, shutter priority. Once you get that done, we can click on register picture style file. Okay, user defined one, I already have center style listed because I use it. User defined two, I have another one listed here that I've been kind of work, working on myself. Now user defined three, which is normally what most everybody else is for show, is listed auto because there's not one in there at the moment. And you can kind of go through here and choose it, uh, one of these if you want to and customize it. Now, we're going to be uploading into our camera here that you know picture style. Now, if you put it on your desktop, it'll be under the Technicolor Center Style folder. And, of course, it's the PF2 file. Go ahead and click Open on that one. And it will automatically upload it. And there it shows. And we're good to go on that one. All you got to do now is just click OK. And Center Style is installed on your camera. But that's it, folks. As soon as you change your picture profile on your camera, you're ready to start filming in CineStyle. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. And if you do, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.